gentlemen, we're taking a deep dive into the life of Mexican OT. And the Dub, West Columbia, Texas, baby. Shout out to the Dub. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a documentary for Mexico. I said for breakfast, I ate zannies. I clean my face with panties. I mixed the walk with candy. I'm straight out of Texas like Sandy. Big dogs gotta eat. Let's go. Every now and then, across the landscape of hip hop, a rapper emerges unlike anything we've seen before. These guys are the innovators, the trendsetters. In my childhood, the one of one characters that came to prominence were guys like Eminem, Tyler the Creator, and Chance the Rapper. Today, we have the pleasure of covering one of the most unique artists of the new era, Mexican OT. He's a mixture of country, gangster, and playboy. He's got a twang to his voice and a southern charm in his demeanor. When he's not on stage, you're liable to find him riding around on a horse or in his bulletproof Cadillac. He began taking over the scene when he released a diverse range of bangers like Cowboy Killa, Kick Do Click, Hardest Essay Ever, and of course hit song, Johnny Dane. In this documentary, we take a deep dive into the remarkable life of hip hop's gangster cowboy, Mexican OT. Not everything from this episode is able to be put on YouTube, so click the Patreon if you'd like to see more. We're on our way to go see Mexican OT. Like a Mexican cowboy taking Texas by storm, taking the world by storm. He's traveling all over LA, New York. He was just on the podcast Flagrant. I always got an onion on me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a man on the move, on the rise. We're going to meet him at a legendary Texas location at Johnny Dane's. We'll see you there. How you guys doing? <laughs> Tommy G. <laughs> that guy, he's such a idiot. I hate Tommy G. Nah, we just playing that bad man pajama right there. So you got like a caravan, huh? Something like that. You're rolling like the president here. I'll try, man. You guys are busy, huh? Busy as What's Please, life like right now? I'm traveling, bro. Plane after plane after plane. People think rapping is an easy life. It's not busy at all. Tell me about your schedule the last couple days, dude. Dog, I f***ing slept probably like five hours max. But I love it, so it make it easy to just get up and go. You, you know, just were in New York? Yeah. You want flagrant? Now I'm here in Texas, and then I got to be in Cali tomorrow. Yee Nah, what's up, brother? Good. That Mexican OT, you look good, my brother. Looking till I done it, dang. Louis Vuitton umbrella when I walk through the rain in the kitchen with the chicken kind of bread like kind good dog got a mess good looking like Johnny Dine he deep muddy water stick carry my guy Where's the come up been like because it seems like things are happening awfully fast right now Man bro we started out doing like little bars and little baby ass clubs you know kept working and now he's doing this shit you know Is it kind of mind blown how fast life is going right now? Yeah. I've seen him a few times on stage and just sat back and cried looked at him and been like damn bro like look at him he really doing that you know Who's bling is this right here? So we got that man Mexican OTs, we got his grills, and then you got B Don's chain, the GMB, and then you got Jody's big old chain too. So what's on your list for bling you wish to acquire? My grill, I don't need much. I feel like my boots and my cowboy hat and my jewelry. How long is it taken to feel like you're blowing up? It's been about two years. Yeah. When did you catch your first buzz? You were like, okay, like I I see the hole and I'm running through it. When I dropped my first music video in like 2019. I, I dropped it and it hit like 40k in a month and got stuck there. Yeah, you to totally fluent in Spanish. Nah, English was my first. I can't rap in Spanish, but it, it'll take me a little minute to prepare it. Do you plan touring in Mexico? Yeah, eventually. Hell yeah. Is touring in Mexico does that scare you at all? Like holy shit, it's gonna be intense. Hell yeah, bro. Mexico wicked right now. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's beautiful parts of it. I'm not gonna say it's all evil, you know. Just like anywhere, right? Yeah. This is the next grill I want. You see this one? So the grill right here, this one. You got the bust down Johnny Dang, and then you got the bust down COVID mask. $30,000 mask. There's a joint turning on too. I don't think it's charged, but when it is charged, you have a fan in there and everything. That's the iconic piece right there. This is like new era. That was like the original yeah, era. Yeah, it right. Oh yeah, this definitely have a... We need to tell Johnny to give it to you. <laughs> What's the weight on that one? That's 1300, I think. 1200. That's 1200. That's 1300. So when rappers say, I got a house on my neck, this is Man, what they're literally. talking about. That's a house. Like, that's a couple houses, honestly. Yeah. All right, I'm emptying out the bank account. Sorry to my wife's sweet cheeks, but I look good in this. He also did the blinged out the hand sanitizer. And it, and it works. Hustled up on the block with a business. 
That's how the feel me, they don't know how I'm feeling I just want respect, I don't need you to fear me I'm speaking my thoughts, I just need you to hear me You started this up, then it's stuck to the ceiling Rob OT, boys, you kidding me? What's catching your eye, OT? I wear Air Forces and Vapes So these are the shoes I You got I the wear. Air Force energy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Can a rapper shop at Walmart and get away with it these days? Or do they pretty much have to ball? I do You'll rock a $12 Walmart shirt if it's the right fit Nigga, hell yeah, yeah The amount of women in your DMs has got to be absurd for a man to deal with Men and women Whoa. Yeah. 2023 is crazy. Yeah. How do you manage all that? I don't even look at it. I don't worry about it. Yeah. So did you ever answer a DM? Every once in a while. Now that you're reaching a celebrity status, or like really, you're really known that you have to be careful with how you roll around town? I'm chilling. I got yeah. that eye on me. <laughs> yeah. Are there any Mexican artists that as you were coming up, you're like, I love what this guy's done in the past or that? Yeah, of course. Like, you know, we had Big Flag, we had Lil Bing, SPM, you know, any taste of Mexican legend. You seem like you freestyled through life really yeah. well. Yeah, I'll take it day by day. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing or wearing tomorrow. So basically, your management calls you, hey, tomorrow morning we're going to LA. You're like, okay, cool. Let's go. That doesn't bother you. Like, that doesn't, you don't care not knowing where you go a week from now. No, I don't want to have a schedule. Then I'll be feeling like not human. Is there anyone that is giving you really good advice on this journey? Yeah, I was talking to Andrew, Andrew Schultz. He had, uh, he was telling me some shit, like mentally, like just shit about myself. Nothing really about the business. He just opened my eyes on a few things that I should probably look into, you know, when it, when it comes to like, you know, mental health and things like that. When you look at someone that's pop and you think life is so amazing, they're never sick. Sad, everything's perfect. You gotta understand, I'm, I still shit the same way you shit. I got problems too, you know? Shit, yeah. I probably got more problems than my fans do. Do you have a tough life growing up? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, who has it? You know, you don't f moan about it, you f that's your nuts hanging, figure it out. Yeah, so what's your death row meal? PBJ. PBJ? You're simple, man. Yeah, yeah, it don't take much. Okay. I might fuck around and pop a jigger. This all made me bop a little. Fucking on your bitch, I make that little hotel you ballin' at the What is it like? People coming up to you, wanting to take pictures, want autographs. What is that like? It's cool. Does it ever become overwhelming? Hell yeah, when it's a lot of them. Sometimes it gets to a point where it's like, man, I don't wanna talk to y'all. Sometimes I just be in my mood, that's it. Neither make the perfect woman for me. And tell somebody, hold me down, I'm out here running these streets. Oh, Brianna. Did you have a really bad breakup? Yeah. Is that based on a true story? Yeah. What was it like getting your heart broken? You suck. What did you learn from that experience? How to deal with shit. This was like last year. One of the toughest periods of my life was getting broken up with, but I ended up opening up more doors that I'm glad it happened. Looking back, I'm glad it happened. Right, right, right. Because we're very prideful, you know what I'm saying? We got testosterone, that's why we bang on our chest and we're so, you know, prideful and just manly. And women, bro, they don't understand how, how powerful that is, bro. God, dude. Like, for real, bro. To make the world go around. You have so many doors you can open. You can collab with country people, rock. You can go punk. You can go rap. You can go trap. Yeah. You can go all over the place. What are some collaborations for people you want to work with over the next little bit? I want to work with who my fans want to see me with. You know, like, I mostly just pay attention to them and what they want, and that's what I give to them. But don't you feel like what you like, because what you like you've already made so far, and what you like will continue to, like, people want to hear it? I like making music like Boom Bap, but like I gotta give them that jump shit, that club shit that they like, you know? So there's a million people that want to be <clears throat> blowing up, be a big rapper. What is your advice to them? It's not for all y'all. If you want rapping, you can't do it, and it just like, it straight up don't work for you, you gotta be able to be true with yourself. And if it f up shit, it's okay to f up. Just Everyone it. that's a winner has lost a lot of time. Man, like that's part of the secret. bro, yeah, hell yeah, that's the sauce. Mm -hmm. This bitch, they should put me in the zoo. Pandemic flow, you would think I got the flu. I got the time when I shot that team. Call me Tom Cruise. Cut, that's the scene. Am I crazy? I just put the love That was hard. Flying the mess was hard. Appreciate you. A blind dog gets a bone every once in a while, you know what I mean? My pop used to tell me that. Do you write, do you freestyle, or do you a mixture? I write everything. Were you born in the 90s? 99. Me. Wearing G unit, G unit pants, G unit shirt. So you were about it as a young man. I feel like I was grown as right there. I wasn't coming home till like 11 o'clock at night right there. Were you like 10, 11 right there? <laughs> nah, I was like 7, 6. That's me rapping. <laughs> Get my mama. So how do you keep your circle tight? Like how do you, who just wants a piece of you but doesn't want the best for you? No new faces. These boys right here have been the same ones since beforehand. How long you guys know OT? Too like long. Six years, too seven long. years. They like grew up with my family too though. While I was gone. What did you go away for? My mama had died and they knew that if I stayed down here it would have been a no-go. I went to go live with my dad for a little bit. I was living fast as f 
that motherfucker. I learned a lot of shit from that motherfucker. He's a badass motherfucker. My everything, man, you know. So when you were a kid, like, what was the bad shit you got into? Like, were you car hopping? Were you... Yeah, definitely. I remember just being bought out doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God wake up with all this new shit. Thank God I've never woken up in jail. When you work with rappers, is most of it, hey, send me a verse through email, or do you guys go to the studio together? How does that work? Studio together. Sometimes, you know, you'll send it to them and I'll send it back. Like Denzel oh, Curry, he just sent me some shit. I'm finna run that b Max I was sent me some shit, finna run that you know? You're definitely, I would say, the most versatile artist we've got to see yet, as far as how many lanes you can go. Yeah, right? All right, fellas, we're gonna bounce there. We'll see Thanks you guys bro. soon, okay? For sure, we're gonna get with y'all, baby. Dude. Good, how you doing, baby? Oh, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Second day tour, yeah. sold out again. Yeah. You're on a rampage, man. It's getting crazy out here. It's not safe. Hide everybody. Hide your kids. Hide, hide your wife. Yeah. It is, man. It is all going <laughs> down, baby. <laughs> You're only on second day, but you enjoy tour? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this is my favorite part of the career. You know what I'm saying? Just it up, being here with my boys. You What's up? How Brandon? you doing, bro? How are you? Good to meet you. Do you remember pleasure, Brandon? Pleasure. Let's look at these biceps. Oh. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> you remember Brandon? That's his boy. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Did you know he was always going to be a rapper? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You know what I was telling his homeboys earlier? I was like, man, my son really found something he's really passionate and loves because I've never seen him work. I've never seen anybody work this hard, period. Because he's the laziest one. I know. Yeah. So I know that he's this, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing because he's out working. Everybody right now. What's up, brother? My guy, how you how doing? You doing man? Good, man. <laughs> you ready to rumble today or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should knock out our side of push up just to get a little swole for the show, dude. Ain't yeah, nobody can touch. I'm smoking that version of every giant. That miskin, what? That miskin. I'm sitting on that like, yo, I'm not man. He's the champ. Eat it up and shit. The push up champion of Chicago, right here, folks. I ain't gonna lie, though. You got some lists, though, bro. You be going everywhere, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Bro, everywhere. You be in the hood. You be doing that shit. Dude, I have to say, your son might be the freshest dressed, like, six year old I've ever seen in my life. I feel like if you get fresh as hell and your kids ain't fresh you was like weak that's like that shit lame you know what i'm saying so what does fatherhood mean to you loving teaching and just teaching your kids like what to do if you're not there you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. because it's, it's gonna be a time where shit you want to let them go and shit they're gonna do what they want to do and be on their own you feel me yeah. my biggest fear is not being able to protect my son or my, or my daughter my like, biggest fear is taking the shit not having toilet paper in there what did your dad mean in your life to you it definitely wasn't Peaches and cream. And it was rough as f He did his own way of fathering. You know, he didn't have a, a manual or a handbook on teaching him how to be a father. Neither did I have one of being a kid. So it was rough. But at the end of the day, we f***ing figured it out. So with OGZ. OGZ was doing shows like this. And I was like, bro, like, yeah, I held pride in it because they loved me. But I didn't bring them. And I remember me and Nate was talking about it. And I remember saying, like, man, six, seven years, five, six years. Give me five, six years and I'll be here. Like a year and a half later. Here we are. Yeah, later, doing the same video. What, what does it mean? say? Persistence and powerful. I like that. If you just stay on the road, dude, good things happen. Do you get nervous at all? I don't want to call it nervous because I don't know what it is. It's like I always feel it right here. And I always get it in the green room. It's like my body's ready, but my mind's like, hold the f*** on. Or like my mind's ready and my body's like, it's one of those two. I think it's just excitement. Papa OT, give the youth some advice, some motivation, man. Find a reason to believe in yourself and then bust ass for that reason every day. Because ain't nobody gonna do for you what you're gonna do for you. You can either be a bitch or a beast, an asset or a loose end. Who you gonna be today? Got baby Zay on the phone. Come on. Don't play. You're the freshest kid in America right now. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel really uh Oh, yeah. He said he does really good. <laughs> well, you're cool, man. You're cool. I did good for the first year of house arrest, and they trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, We left Soundcheck to head to the hotel to chill and set up for a podcast.
which by the way, there are many conversations there I think you might enjoy. How many pairs of cowboy boots do you have, dog? Too many. The Chainsaw Man. Damn. You're a big comic book guy, I take it. Yeah. What is your favorite comic of all time? I like the cartoon comics. Oh, yeah. The Simpsons had a good comic book series. I remember reading books. My favorite one was Monster, because it was about this kid that and, uh, and he got sent to prison, wrong place, wrong time yeah, type of shit. Yeah, he was like 13 years old or something, right? Yeah. Dude, if I went to jail and I had to join a like, neon Nazis just to live, just to survive, that would suck. Dude. My dad was in there solo. Really? So if you did get locked up for a while, it's You'd never, be a it's never gonna happen. Like, would you get down with somebody with a gang? Oh, I know you meant like what I could do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> People that go to jail for like 10 years and the dude, you were already gay. Think of it, bro. You were a virgin longer than that shit. You had some sugar in your tank. <laughs> Folks, we're here in Chicago. Sold out show. Mexican OT. Come on, ready to rumble, boy. It's time. In my barrio, my vatos locos, and we tipping four fours. In my barrio. We be moving cold, cold, Cadillac be jumping like a pole. Yeah, 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 me, Bobby. Shout out Tommy G and shout out that Mexican OT, Chicago, what's up? And I appreciate you for coming to show love. I appreciate you bringing nothing but peace and good energy, man. I love my time with you. Many blessings and many more to come. Me and Tommy, we in there. Let's go, baby. It's like that feeling right before you're getting into a fight, you know, like it's almost draining if you let it be draining, you know, but like my dad was saying, you ball that shit up and then take it to the stage. Yeah. Money in the kitchen, I shake and bake. My bitch is bad and older. Don't drink soda, I love that pussy odor. She ride like Rover, bend it over. Eat dick till she throw. Got her all on her knees, like, hey man. Put it in the wrong hole, she like, hey man. Beating it up, and I got a spray like a spray can. Messing with the girl, and offended the Ku Klux Klan. Tommy G, where the f are you, man? Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a documentary for Mexico TV. Man. You like that? Yeah, dude, that was beautiful. Thank you, man. Appreciate hey, you, brother. Believe it or not, bro, with you being the bad motherfucker that you are and what you do, it's a privilege, man. I'm just grateful. Hey. I'm glad you're here, baby. Life good. can be quite beautiful when you chase your dreams, folks. Hey, and my best advice to you, bro, never mimic success. That's why it never lasts. That's why we have so much of the same. If you think that being yourself might not work, just try it. Because I remember when I first started rapping, you can look at my early stages, and I was, I had the hats on, the J's. I was trying to look like a rapper. When I was trying to be a rapper, it didn't work. And then one day, I was like, and I'm lazy, I don't feel like dressing. And I was being me. That's when you took off. It was far, yeah. went gone. Yeah. Tommy G, ain't nobody else Tommy G. I ain't never met no other Tommy G. Mm -hmm. If nobody believe in you, I believe in you. Lately I've been thinking about all the puss I've had lately, about all the drink I've been drinking. Oh, lately I've been fucking. He'll be here in a few minutes, bro. You gonna uh -huh. get on the horse or what, Big John? Let's do it. We've been busy as Dude, you guys have been on the road, huh? Yeah. yeah shit, we got back yesterday and then we leave again tonight. Lone Star, Texas, I'm playing May. They gon' ask where I'm from, from Dirty Bay. Well, we got them all, yeah, yeah. And we got a lot, yeah, yeah. Lone Star, Texas, I'm playing May. They gon' ask where I'm from, from Dirty Bay. Well, we got them all, yeah, yeah. This is a whole new way of spinning the block, you know what I mean? <laughs> you would be a forever legend if you and spun the block on this and got your op like this, dude. <laughs> you would go down in history. What up, huh? Howdy, partner. How you doing, baby? How you doing, brother? Tommy G, Good back in the you. business, baby, in the mix in West Columbia, Texas. Shit, you been man. on the road hustling, huh? Yeah. Shit, getting it. Somebody got to do it. You know, I know you tired. 
You've been going. Like right now, we're kind of both at this point in our careers where there's a lot of highs. Yeah. But I feel like the real things that stay are like the slow moments. And yeah, that's why I'd be so in a hurry to get home. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're like, you know what I'm saying, six hours or something that's, that's doable, man, let's push that hell. You got your different revenue streams right now. Are you starting to think of like, okay, how am I going to push this into other directions? Nah, not yet. Just because like my mind is so focused and so like tunnel vision on this rap shit mm -hmm. you know like i'm just focused on making music right now mm -hmm. i got something for you in the car come with me i got a little something for you we, what's been on your mind at this stage of the game man like what's uh what's going through your head these days wind doing what i'm supposed to be doing i don't know to be honest i feel a little lost lately but not in a bad way you know what i'm saying i'm still getting shit done i just i don't know maybe it's just a lot all at once i think feeling lost is just a normal part of most of our life right? like when you don't feel lost that's a lucky moment but i think most of life is like what the hell is this all about right. why am i here super I'm putting it on right now. So very, very limited quantities were ever made. Folks, we created a very, very limited edition shirt for this episode. So buy it before it's sold out on my website, TommyGMcGee.com. Damn. Sick as f right. Looks fresh, dog. So you grew up country. Yeah, for sure. Then I moved to the city a little bit too. I lived in Austin, so I got a little bit of the city taste when I got uh, like around eighth grade, seventh grade. I mean, this is an unlikely place for a rapper to come from. You'd be surprised how many people be trying, hey, how many people y'all think trying to rap right now out here in, in, in like this side? Too many. Yeah, there you go. People look at this rap shit and they think it's just an easy way out. Man, f no. That's why the mother that are rapping with me didn't f outlast me, because they don't work like me. I got 21 bullets inside of this clip and I'm ready to unload this bitch. You a pussy ass bust, I will beat you up, but I know you gonna run off a snitch. I'm a certified goon, beat him up with the bone, sweep him up, do him just like a witch. Over the road with that put some deep in that pool, used to pull the triggers. I what do you think makes or breaks people that do it and don't do it? Work. 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 And you see what he did? Working for years, and look, look at him now. Biggest rapper out. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I think God just put the belief in me without me knowing. I, really, I just walked into all of this, you know? I didn't even think it was gonna happen. I wasn't expecting to be what I am today. I I couldn't even imagine. What's the best oh, purchase you, you ever made? Thank you. Birkenstock. Yeah, yeah you like those? They got the two straps. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We would go to parties, and I remember everybody be fresh as f and we would be wearing our boot up, beat up shoes tied up to the max gym shorts on a plain white tee, ready, ready to punch on something. <laughs> we just go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just took a deep dive into the world of one of the most entertaining, interesting rappers in the game right now, Mexican OT. What's up, baby? Junior, final thoughts for the people. I mean, for you, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I enjoy you as a human being. I enjoy you as a friend. And I think it's always a good time when we get together. Seeing you brings back memories from Chicago, from when we were first time in Houston, and it's cool as f to be able to reminisce on things like that. Sometimes I have trouble with being able to let things resonate with me, but you know what I'm saying? Cool memories unlocked. So first of all, it's good seeing you, Appreciate baby. You, bro. Everybody else, I want to thank you so much for the love and support. Crazy as shit, where y'all getting me? It's unreal. Y'all keep doing what y'all do, baby. We coming to you live from West Columbia, Texas. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Posted up on the block with the villains. That's how they feel me. They don't know how I'm feeling. I just want respect. I don't need you to fear me. I'm speaking my thoughts. I just need you to hear me. You started this up and it's stuck to the ceiling. Rob O.T. Boys, you kidding me? F.O.E. But I'm close to the enemies. I can't trust nobody. Can't let them get to me. Stab me in the back. Crip shot killing me. Now I'm on the alert and ready to act. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. You want to watch another? Here. You want to subscribe? Over here. See you next week.